Android Go is an internal name that we're using to describe three things. Uh, first, an optimized version of the latest Android release to run smoothly on entry-level devices, uh, starting with Android O. Uh, second, it's uh, a set of rebuilt Google apps that use less memory, less storage, and less mobile data. And third, uh, it's a version of the Play Store that contains the whole app catalog, but also highlights the apps from our developer partners that are designed for the next billion users. So the YouTube team has actually built a new app called YouTube Go uh, for their users with limited data connectivity, which is a big challenge for, uh, for, for some first-time smartphone users in the world today. For example, uh, there's a new preview experience where you can actually take a quick look inside a video before you decide to use your mobile data to start streaming it, uh, which is super helpful. Um, next, there's also a setting where you can pick right before you start streaming the video what the quality of the video is that you'd like to have uh, streamed to your device. And you can see with that setting exactly how much mobile data that's going to cost you, which is super important. The other thing about YouTube Go that's really great is you can save videos when you're online, so you can view them later when you're offline may not have access to data. Um, and the final thing I really love about YouTube Go is if your friend wants some of those videos that you've saved, you can actually use a built-in peer-to-peer sharing feature in the app to connect your two devices together directly and actually share the files well, without using any of your mobile data at all. On Android O devices with one gigabyte of memory or less, these will ship with the Go configuration. Uh, and going forward, every Android release will have a Go configuration. Uh, we'll be unveiling a lot more later this year with the first devices shipping in 2018.